This is a show about a Jewish guy named John Stein. In real life, he writes for a magazine sometimes. But now he's got his own cartoon show on VH1, which they hope will be a hit because they sure need one. And even though the show has got sort of a sitcom feel, there's a band of some celebrities for more appeal. Joel likes to ask him questions that'll make him squirm. Sometimes he gets punched out, but Joel never learns. Hey, Joel, what do you know? You got your own show. Try not to blow it, cause if you're not funny, then you'll soon be gone. And they can fill the time with some more Lenny Kravitz songs than you'll be back in obscurity where you belong. Hey, Joe. Hello, I'm Jennifer Lopez, actress, singer, dancer, fashion designer, and granddaughter. Now meet my grandma, Gilo. See the resemblance? Because of Gilo, I've become someone who thinks a lot about important issues, like hammer toe. Yo, ugly. But Joel's hanging in there. You think? Take a look at the ISO camera. See? He's doing that cross my eyes so I don't actually see anything trick. The same one as viewers do. It's time to get loud about how millions of Americans live with this cosmetic affliction every day. I hope I never get it, and if I do, <laughs> I'll be able to afford a cure. But what about you? Doesn't hammer toe go away if you just wear looser shoes? It's not exactly life-threatening, but she told her PR people she didn't want to sponsor any sickness that involved oozing or bleeding. There's a lesson for those who scoff at the word diva. Call the Jennifer Lopez Hammer Toe Foundation, j -Lo toe to find out how you can help. Together, we can ensure los afflictados, the afflicted ones, like my granny Gilo, a future of straight and flexible little piggies. Thank you. Great cause, JLo. In the ever-evolving zeitgeist of public compassion, it just may be hammer toe time. Anyway, because of your worthy message, we only have two minutes to talk about your love life. So we better get right to Ben Affleck. Senior Afflectado, as perhaps you... I happen to have some pictures here, particularly King Toes, Joel. Would you like to see them? Mm, you bet. In just a little while. Now, Diddy is an unusual name for a man, or really any creature. Look at these, like giant stubby inchworms that got frozen in mid-inch. Yeah! Can we at least talk about the dancer guy you were married to for a weekend? Check this one. It's like a poor squished cocktail sausage growing off a guy's foot. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want to see! I don't want to see! Can I have that? It's the channel's website, VH1 headquarters in the year 2525. Taking the rosy view? That implies that in 500 years, MTV will finally know we exist. No, nah, they were probably aiming at something else. What's the MTV mothership doing on our site anyway? It's a link. We've got one at MTV.com. Ozzy runs over his own dog. You click on the goo. It takes you straight to VH1. I don't know where they found them, but our website guys are geniuses. Mm, I hear they created according to Jim. Wow. Then this is a real step up. That J-Lo interview was a disaster. How am I supposed to pungently probe in less time than it takes to make microwave popcorn? Correct me if I'm wrong, but who raised his hand as in me, me, call on me when Z asked whose show was willing to give up time to air J-Lo's public service announcement? It was a Lopez op. A Lopez op. Uh-huh. And if you didn't like listening to her hammer toe weirdness, why didn't you rattle her with a few of your patented, incredibly insensitive comments? She's J-Lo, Michelle. For all I know, next week we could be married. Hey, look, it works fine for me. If you want to kiss the stars' asses, they'll be that much easier to book. But I remember when celebs used to walk off your show cursing instead of saying, what a nice pen. Okay, the reason I gave J-Lo that gift pen was because two people gave me the same exact one for my bar mitzvah. So I had double Zs. Suck up. Am not. R2. Kevin. That boy is part cat. In conclusion, we'll create major quarter four savings by eliminating green room beverages guests actually want to drink and stocking the entire studio with grape soda. Diet. Now, I have some big news. Why am I sitting next to the boss? Maybe I really am a sucker. All right, I'm a rebel again. Thanks to Joel's pretending to be interested in that idiotic disease she's pushing, J-Lo has approached us about doing multiple pop-in appearances on VH1 shows during sweeps. This is a major coup, Joel. Way to be a team player. Great. Now everyone thinks I'm a suck-up again. But how to prove them wrong? Now pay attention to the conditions, everyone. I don't want to screw this up. Number one, Ms. Lopez's moles, marked D, F, H, and L, must be digitized out in post-production because Fox is developing a kid series about them. Number two... Turkish taffy! Excuse me? Oh, excuse me, everyone. I skipped lunch and just remembered I had a Turkish taffy with me. So I thought I'd whack it against the table into bite-sized pieces per Turkish taffy custom. A less rebellious staffer might perhaps have brought a quieter snack. But, well, you know Joel. 
<laughs> Number two, the H1 must hire Jennifer Lopez's niece as a celebrity relative intern on one of our shows. Any volunteers? Look busy. Look hot and glistening. Okay, I realize we haven't always had positive experiences with celebrity relative interns, like that time with Paul Simon's nephew and the copier fluid. But still, Leaf, since nothing to speak of goes on a Joel show, how about if she works for you? Hey, I say our show's three-minute length means the ratio of work to air time is probably higher than any other show in the world, and I don't care how rebellious that makes me. Oh, yo, uh, techno and posse if you hear my leaf drift. I'm already tuning up two PAs and a plus one intern would bend the chassis. J-Lo's niece sues music channel for sexual harassment. All right, Joel, you say you've got work. I'm sold. Beginning tomorrow, the niece will intern on three minutes with Joel. Sold? But I wasn't selling anything. I don't sell. Salesmen need not. And please remember that her happiness determines J-Lo's happiness. And her happiness will help us cement our 18 to 49-year-old single white males earning fifty dollars to $75,000 in the service and professional sectors demographic. That's odd. Nickelodeon's press kit says SpongeBob has the exact same demo. Don't talk to me. Unless it's to apologize for sticking us with a spoiled, do-nothing kid we have to be nice to who will probably end up taking my job. Thanks a lot, Mr. Go to the head of the class. Suck up. R2. How much desk space do you think the niece needs? A square foot? I don't want to spoil her. I hate celebrity relative interns. You give them a challenging intern type task like scraping gum off the sidewalk in front of the building and three hours later they're in your office whining about wanting to do something more interesting. Yeah, why don't we get to do something more interesting? Or at least once in a while get to scrape gum. Have you noticed that their first day on the job celebrity relative interns always pretend not to know where the bathroom is? Who the hell do they think they are? Hey guys, maybe JLo's niece will be really nice and eager to work and show that she's not just another celebrity relative intern. Yeah. And maybe VH1 will suddenly devote itself to bringing good new music to the public instead of an exclusive behind-the-scenes documentary about Aerosmith getting reading glasses. Okay, then how about this? Maybe she'll already know where the bathroom is. This is all your fault, Mr. Suckup. Don't worry, I've got a plan. I'm gonna be so mean to J-Lo's knees, she'll quit in frustration. And then no one will ever call Joel Stein Mr. Suckup again. No, they'll call him Mr. Unemployed. Everyone, I'd like you to welcome, um, um... Jennifer Lopez's niece for her first day at VH1. Hey everyone, I'd just like to say, I hope you don't think that just because my aunt's the celebrity- Nice try, sister, but that little fake humble game won't play here. Too soon? Self-destructive outburst? Gum? Make sure, um, niece here gets to do some real work. Something significant. Significant? This is three minutes with Joel. Relatively significant. It's great to work for free It's fun to take out the garbage It's fun to make coffee and tea You'll provide a crucial service By taking all the blame And you'll have a blast busting your ass For folks who don't know your name For folks who don't know your name It's great to be an intern An intern's life is grand Try your best to pass the test You probably still get I exchanged the size 4 for size 2. It's in the bag with your receipt and your father's birthday present. The dry cleaner says your pants won't be ready until Friday because that stain is in coffee. And the motor vehicles department told me no, I can't pose for your driver's license picture. Damn. Memo, Joel. Just a minute, young lady. Is this the way you distribute a memo? Haphazardly lobbing it onto my desk, disrupting my concentration, and leaving my office in disarray? Even at VH1, we have standards. I'd appreciate your knocking and then placing the memo on my desk at a readability-promoting angle. Okay. Memo, Joel. Have a nice day. Stop right there, niece. Where do you get off addressing me with such an air of cheerful insouciance? You think I don't know what your little game is? I don't have a little game. I'm just distributing memos. I don't care who your aunt is. It doesn't give you the right to come in here with a good attitude and a willingness to work hard. You hear me? That one stung. God, I wish it was the future. Boy, when I took website design at school, I always dreamed of doing stuff this cool. Well, PA, how would you like to try? And that's not a question. The guys who designed this website? Losers. Fired losers. I terminated them myself. Hated their attitude towards VH1. Who 
we're puny. We get blasted to hell by MTV. Well, that's not what I want projected on our website. Son, I want you to put some positivity into it. We're VH1. We're big. We're bad. Now we even play bands with tattoos. Just smear it on. Um, yes, sir. If you can't, you'll follow those hacks out the door. And by the way, I don't get that according to Jim. Why would I want to watch a show starring a guy I want to punch in the nose? Um, I think that question could be better answered by Joel, sir. Good point, PA, and I've already moved on. Now make with a positivity. Yes, I'd like to make an appointment for a manicure pedicure. The name is Michelle Ipanema. Anytime Saturday after she gets up. No too early. No too early. No too early. Uh, could you hang on a second? Guess what I picked up at Skyscraper Records for $5.99 each. Thank you, that's great. Bye. $5.99. That's lower than a David Lee Roth solo album. Yeah, Aunt Jenny has a deal with them. They can cut prices on certain CDs if they donate the profits from others to her hammer toe fund. Production. Yes, that's me. Your aunt is all about bartering, isn't she? I see. Thank you very much. Bartering, an obsolete form of commerce used today solely by three forms of people. One, hemp wearing crunchy granolas. B, psycho survivalists. And Trace, cheapskates trying not to part with cold hard cash. That's right. Multi millionaire superstar Jennifer Lopez is too cheap to deal in good old American greenbacks. What do you have to say to that, niece? <laughs> ha! Got you. I have cancer. <laughs> I did not. Give it to you. Joel, will you do me a favor? I don't want everyone pitying me and whispering. Take it from me. You get used to it. Will you not tell anyone what I just told you? Uh, sure. And sorry about that whole bartering speech. Sometimes my words are so powerful they even surprise me. What bartering speech? You swear you know nothing about why she hasn't shown up for work the last two days? Um, no. No, you don't swear? No, I don't know. Yes, I swear that no, I don't know. What? What you said. Good, because J-Lo is scheduled to do a totally unexpected surprise drop-in on Leaf's show next week. And if you did anything to alienate the niece... No! In fact, I'm something of a confidant to her. Oh, really? You just said you know nothing about her whereabouts. Right, but she's told me an innermost secret or two. Boy, are you a suck-up. I am not! Just because someone recognizes me as a sensitive soul and decides to confide in me about their cancer... Their what? Um... Crap. Cancer isn't funny What were our writers thinking? Perhaps they want more money Perhaps they've just been drinking Maybe if they were not pissed They'd find a better plot twist But it's so late in the season They've lost all sense of reason Well, the script needed some filler But they didn't have to kill her They never mentioned cancer on Cheers or Barney Miller Oh, cancer isn't funny No matter how you try It sucks when you get cancer and die Wow, cancer. I can't help feeling like somehow we could have been nicer to her. Learn her name or something. Well, at least she did the right thing and stopped showing up. Because she could have put me in a very awkward position, let me tell you. I was being nasty to her to show everyone I'm not a suck-up. But now she's got cancer, plus she chose me to confide in about the cancer. So if she came back, I'd want to be nice to her. And that would make me look like a suck-up to my co-workers. All suck-ups. Goes without saying. You see my quandary? The important thing is that you're carrying on. Despite the way her cancer almost caused you slight inconvenience. True. Thanks. And look at the bright side. Blurting out her secret was so unbelievably cruel and insensitive. Now everyone knows you're not a suck-up. Uh, gosh. Thanks again. I've been looking at this, sir. I wasn't quite done. Now that's what I call positivity. You're good with death, too. Thank you, sir. So, very hush-hush, I need you to design a website memorial for that poor little celebrity relative intern with cancer. But she's not. Today she's not. But VH1 is all about tomorrow. That's why we play the Stones and the Who. Let's be prepared with something classy, PA. Oh, and with lots of pictures of J-Lo being thrown into swimming pools. Now another reason no one will ever mistake you for anyone with a shred of compassion. Getting it. I'm getting it. There you are, killing yourselves with work again. We were, um, 
Just talking about the niece and how we wish she were still here so we could be nicer to her. Well, then, I have some good news. It seems the niece likes being at VH1 so much that she plans to come back to work. Oh, no! Excuse me? Oh, no! That's great! Although she'll have to be late Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays because of chemo. So we still have a shot at the J-Lo deal! I've taken the proactive, pro-social step of writing a memo about how we can be inclusive and supportive during this trying time. Proactive, pro-social, inclusive, and supportive? Z, we hardly knew ye. Okay, the intern huggers and human resources wrote it, and I signed it. But it's good. Read it. Memorize it. Live it. To all VH1 staff except Jennifer Lopez's niece, the following words may no longer be said at VH1. Tumor. Abnormal. It's going to be hard, you know, not to make her feel like a freak. Dizziness. Nausea. It's like when you see someone with one arm on the street and you don't want to stare, but you don't want to look away and give away that you were thinking of staring. What do you do? Malignant. Lump. According to Jim. I think the answer in that situation is pretend to be really exasperated with one of your own arms, like it's always in the way you're bumping into things. Oh, a darn arm. Oh, that kind of thing. I think that would make the person feel better. On a more positive note, I am pleased to announce that we are on the verge of signing a deal with Jennifer Lopez for a 13-part series, Behind the Hammer Toe. What are you going to do, Joel? If you're nice to her, you're a suck-up. If you're mean to her, you're a jerk. Hey, guys. Hey, niece. Great to see you. Or possibly, you've got some nerve showing up four hours late for work. Or maybe, great to see you. Joel's a little confused. I bet your Aunt Jenny's proud of you for coming back to work, huh? My aunt? I don't want to talk about her. I'm very sorry to hear about a rift with your niece, J-Lo. What can we do to help? What can anyone do? All I did was ask her very nicely if she would appear in an infomercial with me and say her cancer started as hammer toe. But she said she didn't want to go public with her disease, especially in the form of a blatant, stupid lie. That stupid hurt. Well, I'm sure I'm a very sensitive person. This sort of family strife is just the kind of thing that could cause me to withdraw from public life. No concerts, movies, 13-part series on marginal television networks. You're not asking me to fire a young girl with cancer. Of course not. She's still my niece and I love her and God imagine the nightmare publicity for J-Lo and VH1. No way. No firing never. We'll just have to hope that for some reason she decides to quit. Does VH1 sponsor a stable of racehorses? What? We make the softball team pay for their own t-shirts. Okay, so the horse head in the bed is out. But you'll think of something. To all employees, read the new etiquette. Metastasize, prognosis, bad news, etc., etc. All VH1 staffers are hereby encouraged to pepper their everyday speech with these words. I don't understand, Michelle. Why would we want to make the niece uncomfortable? Because Z can't get J-Lo on the air while the niece is here, but she can't fire a cancer patient, so she's trying to get her to quit. That doesn't seem right at all. I'm going to be nice. Ooh, I'll call the newspapers. How about you, Joel? At least now you can take off the gloves and really be a jerk. Ah, but no. For now, if I keep beating up on her, I look like I'm trying to get in good with Z. Which means I have to suck up to the niece to prove that I'm not a suck-up. This sucks. Hey, niece. You're doing such a great job at whatever important work it is that you're doing. Aren't you going to follow that up with something nasty like you've been doing? No, I'm not. What do you think of that? I think... That's the real Joel Stein coming through. The nice guy. Oh, well... The one who's not going to let his loneliness and fear that love is for others, not him, turn him into a prematurely bitter old man. Um, thanks. You're one of the reasons I like working here so much. You, Michelle, Kevin. I really think the positive vibe I've gotten from all you guys is the main reason I'm in remission. You're what? I'm in remission. I just got the test results. No symptoms, no discernible cancer. I can't wait to tell everyone. Isn't it great? No, it's terrible. What? God, you are a creep. I mean, yes, it's great. Of course it's great. But if Z finds out, you'll lose your job. What? Why? Because as long as you're working here, your aunt won't come on the air. But they couldn't fire you because of your cancer. They were trying to get you to quit. God, I thought I was sick. Where are you going? I don't want anything to do with this business ever. I'm going to intern at my other aunt's job where they treat people a lot better. Where does she work? She's a mortician. It's just a guess, but I think I have to revise that memorial page. Just tell me how Aunt Jenny... What's that? Uh... In memoriam, celebrity relative intern Jennifer Lopez's niece goes to God? What is this? And why are there all these pictures of my aunt getting thrown into swimming pools? It's a work in progress. Can't anybody around here let you finish something before they criticize it? Look, um, niece, why don't we just delete your obituary tribute like it never happened? Thank you, and drop dead.
If I do, I hope someone cares enough to make me a memorial page like yours. Joel, I didn't save that. It's gone forever. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. There'll be other dying celebrity relative interns. Deleting it was the right thing to do. Suck up. Oops, it's still there. Incompetent suck up. Um, Joel, which key did you press? A bunch. Putting on a little show for the niece. Why? But you said behind the hammer toe was a go if we got rid of the niece. And we got rid of her. I didn't mean kill her. You put her obituary up on your website and now my phone is ringing day and night with family members wanting to know how she died? I have a lot of family members. The webpage was launched by mistake. So how come a week later it's still up? Um, well, with all those pictures of you getting thrown into pools, it's getting 25,000 hits a day. Very good, Kevin. Works perfectly. Um, Z, ma'am, if you don't mind me saying so, I'm not sure how much the average visitor to the VH1 website is gonna get out of this. This page isn't going on the website, Kevin. This one is just for me.